what is up Ford F100 world you guys might have guessed that we've got KC here KC's paint shop man how you doing good but how are you you having fun out here in the Grand Nationals yeah first time here first time it oh, is okay. are you gonna I'd come back you think definitely be back definitely we, last couple years we've seen it on Instagram and everything and yeah yeah you had that like that missing out feeling so we're here <laughs> um, how was the drive here. yeah it was 18 hours we drove it straight through two kids wasn't terrible that's good, they, I did, guess. they actually did amazing. So the weather's perfect, and you're in the AC, so it's all. <laughs> yeah, you know, I was worried. But last week, it seems going to rain. So no, we were super yeah. excited. And it did it. Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, oh, when we pulled in. They had to wash the trailer off and everything else. So. Oh my gosh, dude! Everyone wants to know about this truck. Okay. Uh, they can look on your YouTube for a lot of the videos and stuff. But tell us a little bit about your truck here, and I'm interested in that. Like, what okay. have you done to that sucker? So. This is since I built it and took it to SEMA in 19. This is the second motor. Yeah. Um, the first motor, uh, me and my boy went to the Crescent uh, road course track and broke the crank. So, this is a new motor. It's a RPG racing engines, 5.2, and Frankenstein cylinder heads, and a Whipple 2.9. Um, it's right at about 20 pounds of boost. Wow. And running. E98 from Ignite, and it's doing about 1,200 at the So question, uh, all the parts they have on it, a lot of people ask the question, is it Gen 1, Gen 2, Gen 3? Like, where, where would this one lie at? This is Gen 2. Gen 2, okay. Yeah. I know it's going to handle a little more boost, right, than the Gen 1? Yeah, the 5.2 block helps out a lot, too. Okay. So, um, it's, you know, the GT350 flat plane crank motor, but right. with Coyote internals. So it's got billet rods crank and pistons in it, and then the other parts on top of that. That is awesome. Now... You already mentioned it, but tell us about that blower you have up top there. Uh, it's a Whipple 2.9. Um, just been smoothed up and painted, essentially. Purdy, purdied up a little purdied bit? Purdied up. That's awesome, man. Now, what, what kind of horsepower torque do you at the crank, at the wheels? Uh, crank should be about 1350, 1400. Wow. And wheels, it's right at about 12. That's amazing. What rear suspension are you running? Uh, the chassis is full Roadster Shop, fast okay. track chassis. What do they have on the back there? They, it's uh, a four bar in the rear, and then the front is C6. C6, wow. Yeah. Oh, what do you think about it? I mean, the... Oh, it rides amazing. Uh, Everyone says it rides like a Cadillac or a Lincoln. Yeah. Like, it rides smooth. You could probably something. make it ride a little smoother, and I got mine, I got mine set up a little tight for... Uh, for spirited stuff. driving? Yeah. <laughs> and um, it does really well. First time we took it out to the road course, I was very, very pleased with it. And looking at the videos and how it's not laying over real hard it, it held its ground and did really fast so i like your wheels what brands are those uh it's budnick they're the uh gasser g wheel and uh it's 1910 in the front and 1912 in the rear and i run the toyo uh, proxy r triple eight r mm -hmm. those are the stickier ones right yeah yes it's 275 uh 30 in the front or 35 30 or 35 and then the rear's a 345, 30, 19. So it's 19 front and rear. That's amazing, then, man. Uh, I run a 15 inch Willwood in the front and a 14 inch Willwood in the rear. Manual. Uh, four piston, right? Uh, six piston in the front, four piston four, in, the four in the rear. That's awesome, yeah. You happy with the Willwood? I mean, okay. I haven't ran anybody yet. <laughs> it isn't, but yeah, it gets the job done. We probably use them exclusively for 10 plus years now, that's I awesome. guess. That's cool. And uh, your front grill here, that's a steel grill that you chrome? Yeah, so OCD wise, I didn't want a chrome grill and aluminum. <laughs> yeah. Or, or aluminum grill and chrome bumper. I want everything to match. So okay. uh, they're original front and rear bumpers uh -huh. uh, that I had re chrome. And then it's a 67 steel grill that I had chrome, um, Ogden chrome in Utah. Did all the work. That's cool, man. Yeah, so would it be different? like textures of chrome if you were to chrome and aluminum and then I don't metal so, no. or you just wanted to stick to steel? Okay. Yeah. Steel would be a little harder for it to, uh, like they caught a rock or something else right. in my head, the steel would hold up to it a little better. So man, let's let's talk about the paint, your uh, your specialty here. What, what What's something you did to this? Tell us a little bit, a little uh, bit about it. So Slosh Tubs made the tubs for me and all of that's just, just matte black. Um, I cut the firewall out of it and we built uh, a new firewall for it. Uh, Levi at Hammerfab did the firewall for me. Okay. And then the bottom side of the hood um, filled all the holes, made panels to fill all this stuff in. I was going to ask you, somebody told me that different ear hoods have the, don't have the holes and I'm like, I'm pretty sure yeah, you filled it in. There's something 
here that doesn't, oh, but okay. I filled all of mine in, and then there's, uh, so these are filled in from the factory, right. and then these three are open. Yeah. I cleaned all the metal on it, and then I actually cut aluminum panels, okay. and panel bonded them in there, and then body worked it to fill it in, because being a paint guy, there's places you can't paint, right. so I didn't want the hood to be up and you'd be able to look in. Uh, so I filled all that stuff. You did a great job, man. Now you already said who made those, but these are cool. Is this something that people can find, or, or yeah. did Slosh Tubs sells them? Slosh Tubs. Uh, Mike over at Slosh Tubs. Uh, he had my truck for a little bit uh, during all that SEMA stuff, and uh, he came up with the idea. I had an idea of what I wanted, and then he right. came up with the rib in the middle that, that so, matches the bump. Yeah, that's extremely, really good. extremely good here too. That's awesome. What transmission are you running? I think you said it already, but yeah, it's a uh, beefed up. Uh, T56 Magnum. That had nice. uh, American powertrain built for Be able to handle that horsepower and yeah. torque. That's, that's cool. Uh, have, have you had any, like, is it scary when you drive it? Nah. Or do you have it tuned in pretty well where you can handle it? I've um, been driving the truck so many years. It's kinda, <laughs> it took me a little bit to get used to the chassis because everything right. prior to this was so loose. Mm -hmm. And it just got sideways by itself. And this one wants to stick more so you're higher in the RPMs and everything else to keep it rocking, but once you get it going, so instead of drifting at lower speeds, you're hauling the mail side to side, <laughs> so it's a little bit different feel, but it's... That's awesome. What exhaust are you running, and what I mean by that, is it stainless, or is it... Okay, so the headers are built by Gap Racing in uh, Houston. He built them for me. They're uh, inch and seven-eighths to two-inch to a three-inch collector. He yeah. built them around everything that we got going on. And then he finished the exhaust out for us too, and it goes three inch stainless to a vibrant, super quiet resonator. And it goes uh, through the back, goes over the rear end and X's. It's got an X pipe over the top of the rear end, and then kicks back down. It's got Roush active mufflers. I saw that you put a wrap on the on the exhaust by the wheels there. Does it get a little hot there? It does. <laughs> it's actually wrapped from the headers. Oh, is it? The headers were wrapped. Uh, but I had to pull the motor out, and when that stuff, it, it oh, holds yeah. up really well unless you start moving it around a lot. Yeah. And that wrap was coming off the header, so we just pulled it off. Uh, but it's wrapped all the way back. Help with heat, awesome. make sure it goes out the back and not. Great, man. What what interior you have here? What, what do we have going on here? So the seat. The seat is a factory um, bench seat. Yeah. Uh, we cut all the springs out of it. And then put plywood down, made some uh, holes in the plywood and put some elastic in there for some cushion. And then we formed the foam to it. And then PG Auto Upholstery wrapped everything for us. Um, the door panels are custom, 100%. PG made all these. Armrests are custom. And then the headline, headliner's custom. Kick panels are custom. Wow. The dash bezel, the dash is all stock. I saw KC on that. That's cool. The, the gauge goes through. Yeah. So they designed those for us. Kind of got those put in right before SEMA. The dash pad was shaved. And then we built the AC bezel for below to hold the AC vents. There's not really a good spot in these trucks to have that AC No, vents. yeah. I like the round ones you chose, too. Those are pretty cool. Closest I can find to match the wheels. Yes, I'm going to give them a shot of the wheels. Look at this. This is my favorite style wheel right here. Gosh. What do you call this paint? It's boxwood green. It's BASF. Why green? You seem to like green. You know, I like blue more than green. Yeah. Yeah. This truck you just... don't see green trucks around, and it shows no. a good color. You know, it's not bright, but it's not like a forest green or anything. It's the original color of the truck. Really? Yeah. Fuel system we run. We run a air motor fuel system on it. Yeah. And it's their variable speed. Pump. So it's uh, what's it? Five gallons per minute, I think, is what the pump is capable of. But it's variable speed, so it runs off the, uh, the uh, gas pedal, so zero to five ohms. Wow. So the more gas you give it, the more it ramps up the pump. That way, you're not just circulating fuel with five. It has a resistor that reads your accelerator. Yeah, That's so cool. It's wired into it, so as I give it gas, this thing spins up more. That way, I don't. You, know, you hear those pumps are just as soon as you hit the key, and nobody wants to hear it, right? So yeah, mine one, does that, and that's kind of annoying. <laughs> it annoys. So this keeps that from happening. Um, but it runs dash 10 lines, um, feed, and then eight return. What's your favorite part of the truck? The thing that just you just want to look at in your shop and stare at. 
I like my lines. At least I spent yeah. a lot of time getting all the lines right on it. So it, it was a difficult pass. The trucks weren't really ever meant to be pretty anyways yeah. back in the day. So door gaps were beautiful, dude. Everything, good job. everything we did was pretty good on it. Um, I did a lot of stuff on the truck that you know most customers won't allow you to do because the time. Like what? Well, the bed, for instance, like you, I was keeping track of all the hours and by the time of, of, after metal work was done, just body work, um, top and bottom, everything. I was about to put it in the booth, tallied up all the hours that me and the guys had in body work. It was thirty thousand oh dollars in the bed. So I quit counting because I didn't want to. <laughs> You're know like, anymore. and I get it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just. All the little detail stuff that takes so much time that I was willing to do for myself, it's it's a lot for customer to to understand. And not the customers are <laughs> blind to it, but they don't understand right. how much it takes to get like everything. Like I OCD'd on the gaps and lines and making I made tools to do the body work. Like really? I have a tool that fits the bed so I can block the bed each groove at one time with the with an aluminum block. I made a drip rail tool so I could do my drip rail with one tool instead of like just folding up sandpaper yeah. and sanding it out. Jason at Fat Fender uses aluminum blocks too, I think. Yeah. So. And they, he he's, he's loves those actually. We have uh, aluminum and acrylic blocks and there's a bunch of people out there that make blocks and we've yeah. pretty much bought every set out there. I mean, I've got more blocks than I can handle. Well, I'm going to give you, for somebody who just loves the original Ford truck, you did a great job of... You didn't, I mean, you probably could have and it would have looked great, but you didn't fill in all of the uh, lines per se. You pretty them up usually. Yeah. Uh, yeah but you didn't, right, you know. Yeah. You know, the other side right here, yeah. like, it's cracking out, the yeah. seam sealer. But I beat the living crap out of this thing when I drive it, so. Yeah, you wanted it to, but I mean, you kept the drip rail, the rain rails, you kept the, the you know, the window vents, the you, I, you know. The only one I welded up, there's a seam that goes here and then goes oh, across right. the back. But see, that was subtle. Like, I didn't notice that, you know, like, you did a great job. That one, that one always cracks, so I got rid of it. Yeah, actually, you're right, because on me, it's doing it here, and I think right here. Yeah. And all that. Cool. That's cool, man. You did, you did a great job. Uh, Thank now, you. you have Facebook and everything like that, but where, you're, you're an Instagram guy, right? You like Instagram? Yeah, I, I do everything on Instagram, and then my wife shares to Facebook. So <laughs> Facebook and Instagram are our go-tos. Both of them are Casey's Paint Casey's Shop. Paint Shop. Yeah. The yeah. Facebook page one's like about a mile long. So yeah. Casey's <laughs> We got a YouTube channel, but okay. we're not very Oh, everybody knows that video. Up on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's good, man. Beautiful truck. Uh, I know we're seeing some cool stuff coming, and... Uh, and you know SEMA and everything like that and I'm, I'm glad you made it out here to Vision Forge man yeah yeah good show I appreciate you have Thank a good you. one man be good thanks Later.